he said that the a believer who dies will he go straight to paradise or it will happen after the day of judgment you see after the day of judgment there will be a great rise of all the people but when a muslim dies his soul is uh, passes through a period when the a sort of wind of jannah is blowing towards the muslim the believer the one who has been pardoned by allah whatever he is so those who are bound for jannah they will be receiving that uh, wind of jannah this is again a metaphor if you open the graves there is no window from opening from one side from which the wind of jannah or jahannam is blowing you should understand these metaphoric metaphorical expressions it only means that the spirit will be elated and it it will feel as though it has been pardoned it will feel as if allah is uh, spreading his rahma over sending his rahma to the diseased person so this will take some time after that the person will go into a deep sleep again otherwise there is no question of revival again so this is called alam al barzakh in between his death time and his revival again there will elapse a very long time maybe a billion years allah knows better but a very long time will elapse and then they will open up their eyes again so quran the quran kareem has uh, given many indications of the remoteness of time for example people will be talking on the day of resurrection that how long did you tarry on earth so they will say maybe a day or a part thereof so the rejoinder to them indicates that even less so when you see something from far off you always see it as small few stars are shown as very small twinkling things because of distance the same happens with time when you look back at your age of childhood it goes very it becomes very remote and removed from you you don't remember everything of childhood because it's long ago things happened so you only remember a few things of importance so it's a small example but uh, on the day of judgment because of the remoteness of time people will think that we have tarried on earth only for a second or two only an hour or maybe that much so inshallah then they will understand that the real life which was which is lasting is not the one of the world this life is that which is to come great poets have mentioned all this they say that it's a strange thing that at the time of death we realized that uh, all that was past is finished nothing only the future remains for us so this is the meaning of uh, the question you have asked this answer is it all right you think it's i've answered you well good